Well, Lindsay, now that you're 18 and a high school graduate, it's time to have the talk. I know we should have done it sooner, but it's awkward and a little bit embarrassing, as you know. But we feel like it's time. You're 18, you're getting ready to leave home, and you need to know it. You know, the way it works is first two people fall in love, and then they decide to have a family. Now, here's where it gets a little bit embarrassing. It takes a little bit more time to explain the intricacies of how it actually works. When you decide to have a family, you have to be interviewed by so many people, social workers, state, federal, and international governments, and, and then there's so much paperwork, hundreds of pages of paperwork. Don't forget to bring your accountant because you are going to need them every single step of the way. And you're also going to need to get over 150 people involved. And they are all here to help you and they have to like you so they can vouch for your character. Think of this as making love for two years. But then through random divineness or divine randomness, a baby will be placed in your arms. Not everyone entrusts you with its life. And at that moment, you'll worry you, that you just conned everybody into allowing you to do something that you really feel unprepared for. As far as we know, teenagers love hearing about how babies are made, so I wanted to tell you how your mother and I did it. For us, first, we got this really cool flyer of this adorable baby and like every parent out there we were so excited to learn how to treat a child with hepatitis B. Well and then we waited and waited and waited some more to get approved. And also like all expecting parents we you know we applied for our visas we stepped on an airplane we traveled halfway around the world and to calm our nerves we grabbed a cocktail. <laughs> And we even heard that some people get an epidural before the baby comes. But instead, we were able to drink a few cocktails before you came, which worked out really well because we were so nervous. And that, sweetheart, is how babies are made. And then comes that moment in time, moment in time that you were waiting for for so long. I'm not sure if it was a dream or just the confluence of all the emotions all at one moment, but it felt surreal when I held you in my arms for the first time. We couldn't help but stand and stare at you for, for days on end, wondering what would you look like when you grew up? What would you be? Well, today is that day. And once again, the emotions are overcoming us. Robin and I walked along under branches lit up by the moon, posing our questions to our dear as our days disappeared all too soon. But I've wandered much further today than I should, and I can't seem to find my way back to the wood. So help me if you can I've got to get back to the house In the corner by one You'd be surprised There's so much to be done Count all the bees in the hive Chase all the clouds from the sky Back to the days of Christopher Robin No one knows where he goes So I sent him to ask of the owl if he's there How to loosen a jar from the nose of a bear Help me if you can, I've got to get Back to the house, book on by one You'd be surprised 
there's so much to be done Count all the bees in the hive Chase all the clouds from the sky Back to the days of Christopher Robin Pooh Hard to explain how a few precious things seem to follow through throughout all our lives. After all said and done, I was watching my son sleeping there with my bear by his side. So I tucked him in, I kissed him, and as I was going. Swear that old bear whispered, boy, welcome home. Believe me, if you can, I finally come back to the house and the corn about what. From an early age, Lindsay connected with so many people. Maybe it was because she really knows how to express herself. Express yourself. You don't never need help from nobody else. All you got to do now express yourself. Whatever you do, uh, do it good. Uh, Whatever you do, 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 Lord, Lord, do it good, oh yeah, it's not what you look like when you're doing what you're doing, it's what you're doing when you're doing what you look like you're doing, express yourself, express yourself. remember, Lindsay has been by my side. There are very few memories I have without her. We have laughed together so many times that I can't believe she's leaving. I will miss her very much, but I also know she will accomplish great things. No matter how far she is, I know we will always be close. Mad about it, just figured it out in my head. Proud to say I got you. Oh, I had to say goodbye. I'll be all right. oh, I had to when I think of being a sister, I think how much I love being a sister. Mamie and Brian are my childhood. They are what makes me smile because I love taking care of them, laughing with them, and being part of their daily lives. I think when I go to Arizona, it will be the place where I will grow up. Even if I must leave Neverland, the three of us together is always my favorite memory. The pulling out dog when you're all alone. We won't survive it, no drama, no need for a show. Just wanna say, I got you. are here to congratulate you on your fine performance and finishing high school. It's been a pleasure to see you grow up from a young child into this young woman and we 
take great joy in what you've done and are thrilled to see what you've got coming up. Um, as I say, we're here at Eagle Harbor Beach. Um, I'm wearing my sequel uh, t-shirt, close up, there you go. wish you lots of good luck in your new chapter of your life even though you've fulfilled your life even at 18 you've done a lot more than any of us have and I'll always be in your life and I will be seeing you in Arizona Godspeed Said no one has to know what we do His hands are in my hair, his clothes are in my room And his voice is a familiar sound Nothing lasts forever But this is getting good now He's so tall and handsome as hell He's so bad but he does it so well And when we've had our very last kiss My last request is Say you I love you, Lindsay. What I love you about the most is you play with me every day. You play, you help me when I need it. You are a great big sister. I know you will be great out there, and you will always be my great big sister. Remember me standing in a nice dress, staring at the sunset, babe. Red lips and rosy cheeks. Say you'll see me again. Um, I wanted to just say congratulations on being one of the most uh, memorable graduating classes in recent history. Some may say you missed out this year by not being physically in school for most of it. Um, maybe with the prom being missed, but I, I think that's nonsense. The situation here in our world has prevented everyone from coming to you and celebrating your graduation in person, which is what we were all intending to do since that we're looking forward to hearing your future stories and congratulations. Hey Lindsay, Aunt Jones here. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. You did a great job and we wish you nothing but the best. We wish we were there, but we're not. Enjoy Arizona. Love Have a good time. So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable When I think of my life, I look in the mirror and see a normal American kid. But I'm so happy I was able to live in and experience China. I'm going to college so I can go back to study and work there. But after my last sailing trip, I think I'm South American, except I've been told I look Filipino, Korean, Palawan, or from other places. After visiting 50 countries, I think I am a girl in the world who has been embraced by so many people around the world. I love that so many think I belong. I hope you 
Hola Lindsay, felicitaciones por tu graduación, te queremos mucho, recuerda que tienes tu casa acá en Colombia, te estamos esperando, vienen cosas maravillosas para ti, tienes un futuro brillante y sabes que eres parte de nuestra familia, te queremos mucho, besos. Hi Lancy, ¿cómo está acá? Ako y lubos na nagagalak na nakilala kita at ako'y nasaya sa balita na iyo pagtatapos. Lumaki ka na isang bagandang dalaga. Gusto kong sabihin sa iyo na laging bukas ang aming tahanan para sa iyo at sa buong pamilya mo. Sana makabisita ulit kayo sa amin dito sa Pilipinas kapapunta kayo ng China. Maligayang bati ulit sa iyong pagtatapos. Okay, we're at the end. Well, kind of, because we're actually at day one, which is where this started. And for me, it feels like yesterday. And I want you to think about something. How many times have you actually seen me on my knees? Now, don't quickly go to, well, you remember the boat sinking or going on the rocks. 17 years ago, the enormity of what had just taken place was beyond my ability to understand and I found myself on my knees every day. I spent a lot of time with your mother at the various temples trying to find some sort of divine intervention in which things would start making sense. I was thinking about today, who would be with you but I also was thinking about who we had to leave behind to have this moment together. And while we were in China with you, I had a prayer and a promise that we made. The promise is... <clears throat> that Xiao Yi and her mother <clears throat> find peace and happiness and to let her know by some sign that Shaggy is cared for and loved for forever. The promise is that you would be loved and cared forever. The prayer was a lot more elusive. And that was that your birth mother and you find peace. Everyone here today can vouch for your level of peace and your place in the world. But after 17 years, I finally found my peace in this, and that is when we spend time with Consuelo in Ecuador. She allowed me to know that God is with your birth mother and that a, the sign I'd wish that she had gotten so long ago had been delivered. I, great, I take great joy in knowing that this day is here and all the people that surround you. You truly are an amazing gift from God. I'm going
rocks made man and the seas may burn if I should not return.